Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, one thing we haven't seen in a while, some significant rain, and that will continue the lack of over the next several days. Let me show you what I'm tracking, which includes... Well, some showers, but as far as any beneficial soaking rain, not in the cards, at least not yet. Mild temperatures, big uh, weather pattern change anticipated for the middle of next week and beyond. But let's break it down. We do have a, a few showers in the forecast, mainly light. And I think really the best chance we've been saying this all along would be later tomorrow night and very early on Friday morning. Mild temperatures continue. In fact, easily 65 to 70 both uh, tomorrow afternoon and Friday afternoon. Nighttime temperatures, including tonight in the 50s, so pretty mild, at least from mid October, but seeing signs of a pattern change. In other words, a change in the in the jet stream and uh, and the warmer air that'll be moving out, and the colder air that should replace that. We're thinking it starts around midweek next week, and it's the kind of pattern that may stick around for the latter half of the month of October. One that favors cooler to colder weather, perhaps even freezing temperatures. But we're jumping ahead. Let's take a look at the short term in Providence now. Cloudy skies, comfortable temperatures in many areas are in the 50s, 57 Providence, mid and upper 50s along the. South Shore. Usually when you have a cloud cover and high humidity like we have tonight, the temperatures don't fall off as rapidly. In fact, some of that high humidity will lead to a little bit of patchy fog during the overnight hours. Tracking some showers across upstate New York. A lot of this now, it does look impressive, and normally I would say, hey, we've got some decent rain tomorrow morning. This will actually fall apart tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. So not much rain during the daylight hours, but a second system will arrive tomorrow night, and that'll give us a better chance for some showers. Future cast shots off at 11 o'clock this evening, showing the low clouds, some areas of fog developing overnight. Now this is early tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Now watch the trend. Well, first of all, you don't see a lot of green indicating precipitation. So we start with low clouds and fog early in the morning, perhaps a little extra travel time. Watch how it starts to thin out late morning and early afternoon. We see some breaks of sunshine. Clouds may hang tough along the south shore, but inland areas seeing some splashes of sunshine. That should get temperatures up to at least 70 and then partly cloudy for tomorrow evening, uh, staying quiet and then low clouds will tend to roll back in later tomorrow night and then it's actually well after midnight tomorrow night the better chance of some rain working in so cloudy skies humid tonight mid 50s areas of fog by daybreak early morning fog and mostly cloudy tomorrow morning 60 65 it does burn off to at least partly sunny skies a comfortable afternoon i mean 70 for this time of year is pretty good clouds and some hazy sunshine that mild weather will extend into friday it looks like a beautiful day up to 70 weekend still looks nice both saturday and sunday with sunny Sunshine, daytime highs mid 60s. Bottom line, the daylight hours of Thursday will be dry. The showers coming in later Thursday night. And tell you what, a better part of Friday looks fine. Enjoy early morning showers ending at 62, increasing amounts of sunshine by Friday afternoon. Breezy, warm and dry. Temperatures about 65 to 70 and still looks good. Dry and comfortable for both Saturday and Sunday. 60s during the day and 40s at night. So a couple of showers at night and that's about it. It's a good looking forecast. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next, than Eyewitness News at 11. Cameras 